Name a few things necessary for a sapling to grow into a tree. Sunlight. Sunlight. Water. Water. Good soil. Good soil. All vital. But so is a bigger pot. Growing up in New Orleans as a little girl, my grandpa Matt had a green thumb. And I would often see him in the sweltering heat replanting a sapling into a different pot. And I'd say, Grandpa, why are you moving that plant from one pot to another pot? And he'd say, Nikki, small pot, small plant. Big pot, big plant. See, a sapling's roots give it the nutrients that it needs to grow into a healthy tree. But the size and the health of those roots are limited by the size of the pot. The tree can only grow to the extent that its roots are healthy and strong and grow. So the smaller the pot, the smaller the tree. The bigger the pot, the bigger the tree. And if that sapling isn't replanted into a bigger pot, its roots will grow twisted and distorted, unable to carry to the tree the nutrients that it needs to continue to grow. Think of yourself as a sapling. Throughout your life, throughout your career, you need environments where you can learn, grow, stretch, fail forward, and ultimately succeed. You need bigger, a bigger job, a bigger role, a more challenging environment. But I got to warn you, Bigger is usually wrapped in uncertainty. Bigger is usually just on the other side of your comfort zone. And bigger can seem scary. But you really only have two choices. You can choose bigger, or you can choose to shrink to fit, like a sapling stuck in a pot, two sizes too small. When you make that choice, your view and perception of what you can accomplish and even what you deserve will become twisted and distorted like the roots of a sapling stuck in a pot, two sizes too small. Don't you dare shrink to fit. Grandpa Matt knew what he was talking about. Replant yourself in a bigger pot.